Hello everybody, welcome back to No Man's Sky. In this one, we're going to go through how to get all of the S-Class upgrade modules for your freighter. There are seven different ones, you can see them all lined up along here. We've got Hyperdrive, Fleet Beacon, Fleet Fuel, Fleet Combat, Fleet Trade, Fleet Exploration, and Fleet Mining Units. You're going to want at least one of each. Um, you will want to multiply some of these up. We'll go through kind of where we're going to deploy them all later on in the series, just because we haven't unlocked everything yet. Uh, I still actually have all of my upgrade stuff in my inventory from the previous ones. But you're going to want to get at least one of each. I'm going to, if, you, if you guys don't mind being naughty, at the end of the video, I'll show you how to get a copy of each one. And the place that we're going to go to will give you each of these S-Classes at the max roll that they can have. So you're going to want to make sure you have access to all of the glyphs and the portal. One, a video covering this is already going to be in the playlist, so I'll make sure that's linked in the pinned comment. So we're going to go ahead and interact with this. And the address that we want to type in here is going to be the bird, jellyfish, jellyfish, bird, the diamond shape, the moon shape, double jellyfish, another bird, we've got the swirl, we've got the moon, and we've got the fly. Now, of course, I didn't necessarily find this myself. I found this on Reddit. Um, I'll leave a link to the Reddit page in the description if you guys want to go and thank this person. I can't remember the name now. Let's see if we can pull it up. It is VanMule84. We posted this. So, we're going to go on through the portal. And then we're going to want to get in our ship. And we're going to fly straight to the space station for those that don't know how to get the derelict freighters to arrive. That's what we're going to be farming here. So, we're going to head straight out into space and into the space station. Once we're here, we're going to want to take the, I guess, left as you're heading in, or right as you're facing out. We're going to want to go up this ramp so that we can visit the salvage dealer here. I'll speak to this guy, and this is where you're going to purchase the coordinates from. Uh, it took me, I mean, this is literally how many rolls I've had, so it's taken me 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's 8, 15. So you're probably going to want at least 15 of them to get one of each, or at least that's what I got as my average. And then we're going to go ahead and leave the station. Once we're outside, we're going to press square on the receiver itself, and we're going to want to go into pulse mode. You can see the numbers that are, well, the numbers and letters in the bottom right corner that are moving. Eventually that's going to pop up with a space signal detected, and we can land on our derelict freighter. Now, if you are trying to do this fast, I recommend ignoring most of the computers in here. We're only going to interact with the last one to drop the modules. This can also be done in a very fast manner to get yourself bulkheads. If you still need more fr uh, salvage frigate modules, you can, of course, loot all of the containers in here. But we are not going to be interacting with any of that. We are just going to do this as quickly as we can. So I'll keep this pretty whole once we get started with the run. I'm going to go ahead and do this just so we're not losing any extra um, any extra heat here. We're going to interact with this so to unseal the door. And once it's open, the run can begin. We can do this in four to, in probably four to five minutes of run, including jumps between ships, so this can be pretty quick. We're going to head straight through the next door here. Uh, this is probably the most dangerous room. There can be a couple of jellyfishes, and sometimes there will even be sentinels in here. Uh, even if they start shooting at us, we're just going to literally run on past. We don't want to interact with any of that. We're going to go straight on over to the door. If they start shooting at you, they seem terribly inaccurate. The few times they've probably hit me um, once, if that. And what you're going to see me doing here is once we get to each door, we're going to top up our um, life support and hazard protection. Just because we don't really want to be stopping at any of the um, any of the heaters or anything, we want to be doing this as fast as we can. My exosuit has basically no upgrades on it, so this should show that anybody can do this. Run straight down here. This is a pretty good place to replenish your oxygen and sodium if you've been using it, because we can collect these on the way over. Always try to stop sprinting before it hits red, that way it'll recharge faster as well. Just a nice little tip there if you are uh, struggling with that. I'm going to go ahead and deal with these. In this one then, there'll be a couple of ships, so if you don't, if you want to get some ship modules, these are random, they can be any, um, between green and gold, so C and S class if we're thinking about that properly. But I'm not going to be collecting those. Instead, I'm going to come into this last one here, this is the final room where we want to be now selecting the... Um, so, depending on what you want, obviously, you can either select the uh, Fabricate um, Freighter Bulkhead if you still need those. We already have loads, so we're going to generate the technology here. And then we're going to head on out. So we're going to rinse and repeat this until we have all of them. I'll show you guys how to reset this nice and quickly. So, 
I'm just going to get all of this getting regenerated now. I'm going to get back to the ship as quickly as we can. Just takes a second. Clearly my next video is going to have to be upgrading the extra suit, but we can't do that till we've got plenty of storage, so that's why we're doing things in the order we've done them in. Get just a bit away from the freighter, we can jump back into pulse mode. Whilst you're in pulse mode, you can come back into here to pop the next receiver. And there you have it. You can land, instantly repeat the exact same dungeon, um, and you will be able to get all of your modifications. Okay then, so after running that like 20 times, you may find that, you know, you don't really want to keep on doing that quite so much, and you want a quicker way of doing this, and here comes the quicker way. So, let's say we're going to take the hyperdrive upgrade here. I already have one extra, and I know I'm going to want six of those because it's quite fun having an obscene hyper range, hyperdrive range on your freighter. So what we want to do, we want to give ourselves a portable refiner here. This is going to look familiar for anybody that is following the series. We're going to go ahead and put the mod in there that we want to copy, and then we're going to go ahead and place down another refiner. You want the central little pillar there to be kind of just off from where the other ones are. You don't really want them to be touching, but you want them to be kind of in the same opening here. And you're going to stack them as much as you like. You can get as many of these as you want. Realistically, you only want as at most six of each mod because you only have three in the technology tab and three in the general tab. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pick these up. And there we have it, probably more than enough hyperdrive modules right there. There we are, there's my six hyperdrive modules from just copying them like that. Um, it's a little bit naughty, but I feel like, again, the for whatever reason, the freighter is the biggest grind in the game. And, um, <laughs> well, it, it took so long doing it during the live streams, I really did not want to have to spend hours and hours and hours doing this again, so I could show you guys. So, um, there we are. We have all of the hyperdrive. We can do this for all of the different mods. In fact, once we start building in the actual freighter itself, we'll be able to do it directly there, which will probably be the next episode. So, I'll see you guys again soon for that.